Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex with Adams Mechanical. And uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a sheet metal fitting. Today it's gonna be the taper. Usually cuts off on one side, straight on the other, but other ones they can uh, reduce on a couple different sides. But today we're gonna teach you how to do a one-sided taper. Let's get started. Let's start with some of the basic tools we're gonna need for it. We're gonna need a ruler right there. Got a hammer. Got an adjustable scribe. There's other ones you can use too out there, but this one I prefer. We got a scratch all. A pair of Midwest right snips. Offset. Don't usually use them a lot on here, but this is the ones I usually main, mainly use my cuts with right here. And we got 11 three quarters inch tall on this piece of sheet metal going all the way down. We're going to make that the length for it. I standard usually make them about 12 inches, but this was laying around, so I just wanted to use this piece of steel up. All right, let's get started. Grab the scribe, got it marked off for an inch. We want that inch off that end. I like to start an inch off from there. And mark off the top and bottom where the S-locks will go into. And then we will make this a 16 by eight and have it go to 12 by eight. I'm gonna make this for stock, but I will use that down the road somewhere. So we will start marking off 16 inches from that one inch mark right here. Do it top and bottom. I'm just gonna go like that. Make a straight line going to it. We'll mark off 12 inches going off this side. And then from corner to corner, we're at 12 and 16 meet. Make a straight line there. And on the edge of this, we'll do our quarter inch fold. Bingo. <clears throat> and after that, we will mark off our eight inch side. That's not going to taper. Do another straight line. I usually don't make these in this many steps, but I wanna make it as easy as possible to understand. Go to 13 right there. And then this is the opposite of what we did from the first one. Mark it. Do our quarter inch for the fold. And there. All right, here's what we got drawn out here. See where the quarter inch fold's gonna be. Got the, that was the 16 inch side going all the way up to the 12 inch side. That's where you want, you get the S-lock there and then the taper starts after the S-locks. You come down, got the beginning of the eight inch side, got that drawn out and the other side's the same. Now we're gonna cut this thing out. Mainly use these shears here for cutting it out. Get the unused portion. And always have like an old coffee can floating around where you can put all the little pieces in because sometimes my kids want to come in here and run around and I have to yell at them and tell them to get out. Yep. You want to cut little V's where these meet so it'll be a little bit easier to fold. We've got this thing cut out now. So you got the edge right there where that quarter is gonna be sticking up. Right there and there. Is where we're gonna fold it on the, the big break over there. Got your markings and the other side's the same. So right, let's fold this piece up. All right. Got our three sides here. 
I always cross break everything 10 inches and up, so I never cross break the gate inside. That cross break just keeps them popping and pinging, puts a little straight to it. tape inside the cross bra. So I am going to start with folding this quarter inch fold. sections. Here's what we got so far. Got three sides. Got the 12 and we got the 16 down. Here's the 8 inch side we did not cross break. And the cross break with a nice big X in there, so it kind of makes it look a little fancy. Now we gotta make the last side. We gotta get our measurement for this side, and it's gonna be a little bit longer than the, the other three sides, so we're gonna get that measured up. Looks like it's gonna be 12 and a half, just a hair under 12 and a half. All right, let's get this thing set for 12 and a half inches. Got it on there. going to be 10 inches and you got to add two for the Pittsburgh we're going to put on it there we are all right we're going to scribe an inch on all sides of this the two sides for the s locks the two sides for the Pittsburgh that's what you got to account for Snip these corners off. Here's what our piece of steel looks like now. Let's turn this Pittsburgh machine on. A little noisy. Slide that puppy through. Make sure we do the right side. Both sides. Well, the purpose of this Pittsburgh is where that quarter inch will fit right in there. You can fold that over with the hammer and it holds, locks it right in. All right, let's bend the top and bottom a little bit to account for the taper. All right, we're gonna do a slight bend on both top and bottom. All right, now we're ready to finish this thing. We got a three side piece already. We got our final fourth piece. You can see why I have those slight folds on top and bottom to kind of match it and make it square up with them. All right. You remember that's gonna fit right in there, that S lock with that quarter inch hole that's on these edges here. Take this thing sideways and line it up and bang it together.
the other side. I do have a sheet metal hammer floating around here somewhere, but I had to use my regular hammer. That's okay, and I got my electric hammer too, but for something small like this, it's not really needed. And just like that, we got a finished product. We got the 12 by 8 on the top, 16 by 8 on the bottom. And there we have it. We have a finished product. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.